Good day everyone, this is Sir Albert, and in this video, we're going to discuss our first ever topic for the school year, which is about factoring and rational expressions. Now, these terms might already scare some of you because you're unfamiliar with them. But trust me when I say that factoring and rational expressions are concepts which you have already discussed in grade school. When we talk about factoring, for example, it is simply expressing a particular expression as a product of prime factors. Six, for example, can be expressed in the factored form two times three. And that is what factoring is all about. Rational expressions, on the other hand, is nothing but about fractions. So you see, these are actually concepts which you have already discussed in grade school. The only difference for this school year is that we're going to extend what you have known in grade school into concepts related to algebraic expressions. The most basic among these topics, we're going to start then with identifying the GCF of two expressions. For example, how do you find the GCF of 18 and 30? To find the GCF of 18 and 30, we factor each of these numbers into prime numbers. And one way to get the prime factors of 18 and 30 is to make use of the method which is called the factor 3 method. In the factor 3 method, all you are doing is to express a number as a product of prime factors, or we simply keep on decomposing a particular number until all of its decomposed numbers are nothing but prime numbers. For example, 18 can be decomposed into the factors 6 and 3. We stop decomposing 3 because 3 is already a prime number. 6, on the other hand, we continue decomposing this number because 6 is not yet a prime number. 6 can then be decomposed into the factors 2 times 3. Now, all of these numbers are now prime numbers, so we stop decomposing the number 18. And this would give us 18 is actually equal to 2 times 3 times 3. Therefore, 18 as a product of prime factors can be expressed as 2 times 3 times 3. In the same manner, we decompose 30 into a product of its factors. And one factor that easily comes to mind when you speak of 30, it's going to be 6 times 5. You can also work with other factors like 15 and 2, or 10 and 3, for as long as these factors would give you 30. Here in my example, 6 and 5, we stop decomposing 5 because 5 is already a prime number. We continue to decompose 6, on the other hand, because 6 is not yet a prime number. Decomposing 6, the factors that would come into mind, 6 is equal to 2 times 3. And since all of these numbers, 2, 3, and 5, are all prime numbers, then we stop decomposing these numbers. Therefore, 30 is actually equal to 2 times 3 times 5. Therefore, the prime factorization form of 30 is 2 times 3 times 5. After we express each of these numbers in its prime factorization form, we then encircle the factors which are common to both 18 and 30. We would see here on the right that both numbers 18 and 30 have 2 and 3 as common factors. After we identify the factors that are common to both numbers, 
Then we bring down these common factors, meaning we identify 2 and 3 as the common factors. Multiplying these numbers will give us the GCF, and 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, the GCF of 18 and 30 is 6. This time, try working things on your own by working on exercise 1.1 in Schoology.